What's going on, Virgo? Welcome to Zebra Tarot. You are now in the Zebra Tarot Lounge, and tonight I'm gonna do kind of a cool, you know, lights out reading a little bit for y'all. We'll go ahead and get into it here in just a minute. We'll see what's going on for your week uh, ahead. If this reading found you, or if you found this chance, sorry, there could be messages in here for you. In fact, they probably are. These messages will definitely be for someone, but they will not resonate with every Virgo out there. So use your discernment. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy you're watching this. I'm happy you're here. If you are new, we are right now going home to the kingdom of heaven within. We have now stepped into, or we are right now stepping into the age of Aquarius. And where we're going, it's beautiful beyond words. All right, with that being said, we'll go ahead and we'll get started right now. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light, I invite you in and I ask for clear and concise messages for my reader. Virgos for the week ahead. I'm going to be a clear channel, clear vessel. Help me to relay the correct messages for whoever needs to hear them. May these messages inspire, uplift. Thank you for protecting myself and my viewers at all times. Thank you that no weapon form can prosper. Ashe, amen. All right, let's go. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels. Your cards, please, for my Virgos. All right, there's one card. We have the Page of Cups. Y'all see that? Okay. All right, Page of Cups. You could have an incoming offer. We'll go ahead and pull some more cards, though, before we get a full picture here. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels. All right, all right there's a okay, ten of swords. And Knight of Cups, all right? So I'm going to clarify this Ten of Swords. What's coming to mind is, uh, I don't know, I'm going to make sure y'all can see that first. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. And this Ten of Swords here. So y'all may, the way I'm reading it is you have an incoming love message or an incoming offer of some sort it could be a job it could be literally a love message um something that's going to an invitation something it could be through email text where you're going to actually meet them but uh, you're going to get some type of conversation that's going to be initiated and uh with the knight of cups i'm getting just to trust your discernment to trust follow the signs to trust that the universe is guiding you you're getting just to tune into the energy around you and to really uh trust uh the 10 stories here i'm not sure if this is something that's is relevant to the offer or if this is past energy that you're bringing out of i'll go ahead and get a clarifier though for this 10 of stories we'll see what's going on holy spirit guardian angels the highest white light i have a clarifier for this 10 of swords please I have a clarify for this Ten of Swords from my Virgo's watching and we need to know for the dead, all right? The Emperor, all right, so. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the Ice White Light. I have more information, please. All right, one card dropped out. All right, the World card. All right, I'm seeing, um, it's too dark, y'all. I'm gonna so y'all can see better. Alright, so we have this. Still trying to figure out what this Ten of Swords is. So far, we have an Emperor and the World card, which fell out kind of upside down. Maybe you feel like. I'm not sure if this is past energy or something related to this Page of Cups, this Knight of Cups. But the Ten of Swords definitely hits you like a freight train. You could have very definitely well felt like your world was crum crumbling around you. If you are this Emperor, this could be you. But let's we'll see. Let's be, okay. Three of Wands. Ten of Cups. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Slash, White Light. Help me to make sense of it. I look at the pictures for just a moment. I'm seeing something coming together here. Okay. 
So I do believe this is you if you're watching and I'm definitely feeling like this is kind of past energy. I'm seeing someone here that kind of, they got the 10 swords in their back. I feel like really this is past energy. Um, and this in the past was you kind of laying on the ground bleeding out. Feeling like uh, you know, your whole world would come crashing down. But also to going into your inner world, into your imagination, secret place of the most high, your connection to all that is. Um, there is a whole world inside of you going within. I believe you are this emperor and as you went within, I believe you thought about a lot of things. This emperor is kind of looking sideways, side-eyed. He's thinking deep in thought on his throne. You can be, uh, you don't have to be a man watching this. You could be, no, it's just masculine, feminine energy. But I feel like when these 10 swords hit you, you really did some deep thinking. You went into your inner world and you started to think about your 10 of cups, what really makes you happy your kingdom of heaven within and you started to sort of dream look out to the shores and, and and wanting better days wanting better ships to come in i feel like some time has passed now enough time has passed now where there is actually something coming in for you an offer of some sort love offer a job offer maybe and that's coming in now with the Knight of Cups, a little heads up from the universe, a sign to use your intuition. Um, this Ten of Swords I feel like is definitely past energy. So if this is resonating with you, if this is your message, just know that you have some type of offer or some message contact coming in this week. Especially if you've felt super betrayed in the past and if you felt like you got hit by a train and you it didn't. You didn't let it stop you. You didn't let it kill you. You were strong enough to see the light, to go with it, and to hold on for for better days. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Nice Twilight. I'm going to have a clarify over this page of cups what this offer might be coming in. Aw, uh, six cups. All right, it's beautiful. It's receiving help, receiving what you need, but it's also very nostalgic. Whatever it is coming in, going to be very nostalgic very pure very childlike definitely age of aquarius energy this is heaven on earth that we are moving to right now we're moving to this very pure love based reality um the six of cups this is completely opposite from whatever pet the ten of swords in your back whatever it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing energy, something that uh, sought to destroy you, but you didn't let it destroy you. Um, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, I just want to have a clarify for this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups. Alright, uh, King of Pentacles. Right, use your discernment this could be a job coming in job offer um, or it could be from a uh, masculine type energy who is very wealthy very abundant um holy spirit guardian angels nice so i may have another clarifier for this king of pentacles all right four of cups okay so um Keep getting used your discernment you may not want not notice it at first not want to take it but the universe god source divine most high is definitely trying to gift y'all something this week there it is just chilling universe is like here you go you want it now okay we're, we're still doing this okay <laughs> Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Lies, Fight Light. May I have a card, please, for what kind of energy my Virgos will be in by the end of the week? What kind of energy will we be in by the end of the week? Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, what kind of energy will we be in by the end of the week? Yep. 
go. That went far and far. Alright, uh, so with that, with the card flying way over there, I feel like, um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of quick movement this week, uh, a lot of far movement, uh, or it's going to go farther than you expected. Four of Wands, this is victory, this is success. What I'm getting with this is your guardian angels, the God source divine most high cheering you on, like, yeah, like, fuck, like, <clears throat> like, really really celebrating you really um cheering you on you may know not feel like you have any friends or do you have any cheer leaders 11 11 on the clock maybe you feel like you are your own personal cheerleader but you have literally guardian angels that are there in the spiritual realm watching over you cheering you on waiting for you to ask so that they could jump into action you get bored sometimes actually um so don't ever be afraid to ask for guidance to pray to seek to press in to go deeper because they are listening they are there they are waiting for you the universe is communicating with you at all times and whether we can see that or not depends on where we're at in the spirit at the time but by the end of the week i feel like there's gonna be some celebration going on for you whatever this offer is coming in definitely something that will be good for you and i feel like it'll be a positive step forward in the right direction for you holy spirit guardian angels eyes while i have another clarifier for this page of cups i want to know more about this offer um six cups came out already so that's beautiful we know it's very nostalgic whatever it is for a child like very pure definitely heaven on earth age of aquarius so whatever it is it's meant to come with you to the new earth or at least a stepping stone along the way to where we're going holy spirit guardian angels the highest white light for the clarifiers please for this page of cups kind of offers coming in what's going on here Nine of Wands, all right. Um, this could be you or the offer coming in. I feel like it's maybe with the Ten of Swords. I feel like it's you. Been a little bruised, a little banged up, maybe a little bit defensive, and for a good reason, you know, it's, it's normal. Um, it's safe for you to love again, and uh, I don't necessarily mean romantic love. It doesn't have to be, depending on what this offer is, but it's whatever this offer coming in it's very very pure very safe it's okay um it's something a blessing from the divine it's meant to be and it's going to be better um than what you are coming from what you are coming out of holy spirit guardian angels highest white light one more clarifier please for the page of cups one more clarifier Anything else that we need to know? All right, uh, Ten of Pentacles too. So actually flew out and it landed on the King of Pentacles. Whatever it is, it's going to be very abundant for you again with the King Knight of Cups. Um, pit. Just be aware, use your discernment. Look for the signs, but uh, I feel like this is going to be not only very abundant for you financially but even with the ten of pentacles here you have you you know they're in a partnership here they have the dogs and the, they're eating grapes they have a family they got like all this like they're just balling and it's not just physical tangible fulfillment wealth abundance but it's also emotional abundance too Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, and I swear that I think that wraps it up. Uh, seeing some red. Um, and I'm getting to take a spiritual bath. Um, you know, Epsom salts, whatever, things like that. Kind of ground yourself as you get started with this week. And uh, maybe just listen to some 
meditations or frequencies or something that can help kind of balance out your root chakra um, might help a little bit with stability and I don't know why that's coming to mind, but that's for someone. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, I just went light. Uh, last card, I, actually, last two cards, please, for my Virgo Spirit Kid. Last two cards, what do we need to know? Eight of Pentacles, all right, uh, just whatever this is, this I feel like this is a, a call to dedicate yourself to it if it's, you know, you have free will, um, but it's going to be very good for you. is dedicating yourself to learning something new, new project, new venture, new skill, something like that. Or spirit guide. Justice. Again, uh, this whatever this is coming in, it's definitely a gift. It's a, from the divine. It's meant to be, it's meant to come with you for the new earth or it's going to be a stepping stone to get you to where ultimately you're going to be on the new earth. But Justice, justice for this ten of swords, whatever tried to kill you in, in the past or just take you out. Um, whoever you are, uh, the brighter you shine sometimes, the harder it is that people come at you. So, all right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light, last card, anything that we need to know, any potential pitfalls, anything that we need to know so we can just go on. All right, Knight of Wands, um, very fast moving energy. Fastest moving Knight in the deck. The Knight of Pentacles, this is also being abundant on your own too. Um, I'm noticing the snow on the ground here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Maybe in, you felt like things been moving super slow, but uh, this, this night of wands is super fast moving. And uh, I think things are going to speed up for you this week if you feel like things have been taking a while. Um, Whatever is coming in, uh, they are also abundant on their own. So they're not going to really need anything from you except just for... your time I guess they just want to they're interested in you for you that's what's coming to me and uh they're not going to really need anything from you or try to trick you or anything like that it's just very pure childlike nostalgic energy very beautiful all right Virgos that's all I got thanks for watching thanks for being here Feel free to like it. Let me know that uh, these messages are reaching y'all and uh, resonating. Thank you to all those who have reached out. Feel free to subscribe. Thank you to all my beautiful new subscribers that I get every day. And um, if you would like a free personal reading, have any questions, uh, just need someone to talk to you, I'm here for you. Feel free to reach out. Let me know what you want, what you need, and I'll be happy to be of service to you. Catch y'all next week and uh, beautiful energy, Virgo. Peace.